Good afternoon, everyone. Dan Henke here for V-Twin Manufacturing. This afternoon, we're going to be covering V-Twin's rendition of the old post-World War II era Flanders handlebar arrangement. Immediately following World War II, the Flanders handlebar arrangement became quite popular with the custom riders building the old bobbers and such, as well as the stock riders of the day. These were installed right at dealers, brand new, while picking up their new machines. What I like about this particular piece from V-Twin is the knurling in the proper positioning of the riser itself, which did not exist back in the day. You notice that knurling in particular is right in the proper alignment of our riser. So let's go ahead and set this up and see how it goes. We'll slip off our throttle arrangement. Detach the old dog bone riser. Bear in mind when you draw these up on your final installation, always draw them with an even gap or gap seam. Never draw one up against the other. I like this knurling within this region as we're going to get a good adhesion upon tightening. It, it does not become unsightly. It can be hidden from you easily enough. Again, checking my gaps. The V-twin pieces are of brass, just like the original Flanders pieces of the late 1940s. Another nice feature, we don't have dimpling for the 82 and later controls. We're, we're a true round piece, like its original format. Another nice feature, again, with a minimal of tightening, we're already locked. I didn't draw into these as I would for a final assembly, we're already locked. I'd highly endorse these uh, for any of you vintage custom builders out there with the old bobbers keeping a traditional guideline. These are just excellent. Again, as I say, they lock up nicely. They've got a nice form and a nice handling fitment. For any more further detail, you can reach us at vtwinmfg.com. The part number for this arrangement is 250438 in your vtwin catalog. Thank you very much.